Homeless Muffins. Homeless Muffins. Homeless Muffins. Very, very nice out, so we're gonna film it outside because I want to be just like the letter M. I did get some footage from our homeless run, but nobody wanted my muffins. <laughs> it was very sad. We were in the nice part of Vancouver because we were going to the kick ass premiere, and I'm gonna stop holding the camera so it shakes. It was good, um, it was amusing, and the soundtrack was pretty ballin'. I think Joan Jett should have to be in every movie ever. So I don't have much footage of me downtown, and most of it is sort of this. The people in the sky train think that I'm crazy. The people in the sky train think that I'm crazy. We should like this video for the Brotherhood 2.0 reference. Yeah. And me ranting, but there's like sky train noises, and I figured if I really wanted to rant about it, which I do, I can just film it at home, which I'm going to. I think I should have like a little intro for my rants. Like really corny graphics and just it's time for opinions with Barbara. Ding. In fact, I'm probably just gonna take what I just said and set it to corny graphics. There's a law in Canada that states that only Canadian bookstores can sell books in Canada. Amazon just doesn't care. Um, they decided they wanted to open up a warehouse here, so they were kind of just like, "Hey, Canadian government, I know you have like laws and stuff about this, but we were wondering if we could just like." open anyway. And the Canadian government was like, hey, you'll give us money and cheap books? Okay, well, we're sellouts, so come on over. Which sucks in and of itself, but changing the law for Amazon essentially means changing the law for everyone else. They're basically like, Red Rover, Red Rover, we call borders over. All of, all of the independent bookstores in Canada are like holding hands and trying to stop them from coming over, but borders is like that fat kid that just jumps on your arms and like forces you to let go. I was that fat kid in elementary school. And it doesn't bother me because I work for an independent bookstore so much as because right now Indigo has the monopoly on books in Canada. And when you go into any store owned by Indigo, there's a lot a large volume but not much selection. Chapters won't sell Mein Kampf because they seem to think that only Nazis want to read Mein Kampf. It's just frustrating because like stores like the one I work for, our money goes right back into the community. Giant corporate chains, all their money gets siphoned into the 1% of the population that doesn't need it. It's so nice out, I can't even be angry. <laughs> Naomi, I'm sorry that you were having such a bad day yesterday. But thanks for letting us know that you couldn't make a video in advance. <coughs> Meg. <coughs> what? I Am I doing the she and him thing? Someone just say yes and then I'll get the punishment over with. I think we all agreed that Naomi has to do that mustache thing. And nobody has a punishment for Paul yet. Although I know he doesn't eat vegetables. So I think he should have to eat like a blenderized salad. It's so pretty out. Look at that tree. Okay, I'm actually done now. Um, yeah, I'll see Meg tomorrow, hopefully, and the rest of you later. Bye! Shiloh is peeking out from behind that TELUS display window. Operator, operator, don't call me, I'll call you later. No? Nobody? Okay.